Hi guys, Kanika this side from the channel Mind Garden and today we will talk about the power of attention from the book Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. So here he says that attention is forceful in proportion to the narrowness of its focus. That is when it is obsessed with single idea or sensation. It is steadied and powerfully focused only by such an adjustment of the mind as permits you to see one thing only. for you to study the attention and increase its power by confining it the desire which realizes itself is always a desire upon which attention is exclusively concentrated and you know listen to this carefully for an idea is endowed with the power only in proportion to the degree of attention fixed on it so the power that any idea holds in your mind is depends upon how much attention you give to that idea concentrated observation in is the attentive attitude directed from some specific end the attentive attitude in wall selection for when you pay attention it signifies that you have decided to focus your attention on one object or state rather than on another so you have to choose on which ideas you are trying to focus on selection basically okay therefore when you know what you want you must deliberately focus your attention on the feeling of your wish fulfilled until that feeling fills the mind and crowds all other ideas out of consciousness so that one particular feeling should fill your mind and you know all other negative thoughts and ideas should be crowded out with your focused attention the power of attention is measured of your inner force the power of attention is is the measure of your inner force concentrated observation of one thing shuts out other things and causes them to disappear the great secret of success is to focus the attention on the feeling of wish fulfilled without permitting any distraction so the more you focus on anything or any one particular idea and the less will be the distraction all progress depends upon an increase of attention the ideas which impel progress depends upon an increase of the ideas which impel you to act, take action are those which dominate the consciousness those which possess the attention the ideas which exclude all other from the field of attention discharges in action so and the most important line or the most important exercise that Neville states that will you know aid in your mastering of your control of your attention is written right here to aid in mastering of the control of your attention practice this exercise night after night just before you drift off to sleep strive to hold your attention on the activities of the day in reverse order focus your attention on the last thing you did that is getting into the bed and then move it backwards in time over the event until you reach the first event of the day getting out of the getting out of the bed this is no easy exercise but just as specific exercise greatly help in developing specific muscles this will greatly help in developing the muscles of your attention so you know this exercise promotes the holding span of your attention on one particular idea the more you do it the more successfully you can pay more attention to a single idea or any single wish that you want to fulfill so your attention must be developed controlled and concentrated in order to change your concept of yourself successfully and thereby changing your future imagination is able to do anything but only according to the internal direction of your attention so the more you are attentive on one particular thought the more easily and faster you will be able to manifest it thank you and comment down below any questions or queries you have